So, uh, to my right, Dalton Bancroft, and to the far right, Ian Shane. Um, you know, it was a, a, obviously another great environment by our alumni being here tonight. It was just fantastic to come back down to New York City and see, see uh, uh, just kind of the environment that exists for college hockey when, you know, um, you look up in the stands and as an alumni, you're really, really proud to see how many people follow our sport and, and uh, on campus. It makes a big difference uh, at Cornell and how important athletics are to a university. And so um, we got obviously to, to a great start um, in the game and, and Dalton got us off to that start with some good effort by other guys. And, and we just, uh, I thought we did a good job. Of, you know, they're a dangerous hockey team. Uh, we knew that they forced a lot of pucks to that, and Ian did a good job of controlling rebounds. And uh, when things popped out, I thought our guys' uh, uh, sticks uh, in front of that were very strong, and they kind of followed the game plan. And um, you know, this is the first step for us. We talked about, about you know, um, earning respect back, and to do that, you have to win. And, and we got off to a slow start, playing our first six games on the road uh, against good competition, and. Um, you know, this is our first opportunity, um, you know, Sacred Heart on Tuesday and now UConn here tonight. And that's uh, for us, we got to keep it going and, and uh, continue to play. Uh, next weekend, Harvard, Dartmouth at home. Another two big wins, uh, two big wins, two big games for us and, uh, uh, against rivals in, in, uh, in the Ivy League and the ECAC. So. Open up for questions for Coach and or players. Uh, this question's for uh, Dalton Bancroft. Dalton, uh, you had three goals tonight, obviously, on such a big stage. Uh, what was your mentality going into the game, and how were you able to translate that into your performance out there? Um, I think going into the game, we all we talked about earning it. That's our slogan this year. And um, going against a team like UConn, who's, I think, I believe they're ranked third, um, we just had it in, in ourselves to think, you know what, we're, we're just going to do whatever we can to win this game. And, um, like Shafe said, uh, get that respect back that uh, we might have lost during the during the slow start to, on the road to start the season. But um, no, personally, it just the bounces were there tonight, and I had some great plays for my teammates. So um, all the kudos to the boys. Uh, Coach, do you think that your experience playing here every year was an advantage, especially in the first few minutes of the game? Uh, we'd have to ask them. I mean, I mean, guys change over all the time. I mean, Dalton had no experience here, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I, think, I, I think I really like our guys' mindset being focused. And there was no distractions. They came out ready to play. And I think that's a testament to the guys, not just our young guys, but I think our older guys. You come down here, and you know, we didn't pregame skate, which we normally do. And uh, it's a long day, you know. It's uh, hanging around the hotel room, walking around the city. The guys went with their families last night, so give them a lot of credit. I mean, they, they you know, I can't speak for them. Uh, or UConn, but I can speak to our guys. I thought they did a tremendous job handling the distractions and all the things that are outside our normal control and, and uh, uh, came ready to play hockey. Uh, this question's for Ian. Uh, Ian, tonight was your first shutout um, of your whole entire collegiate career. And of course it came, as you know, under the bright lights of the world's most famous arena. Um, describe that kind of feeling and do you think it'll be uh, easier now that you got that shut out here. Do you think it'll be easier to get that shut out at Lina and any other college drink that you may play at? Yeah, I think it definitely kind of gives me a little confidence, more momentum going into next weekend and the rest of the year. But uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily per se a goal for me. I think the goal for me in our, our D Corps is to keep teams two and under. Um, and I think if we do that, we have a great chance of success. And uh, we do a great job in our zone just kind of clearing away opportunities and making sure that. You know, I can see pucks a little more easily and clear the traffic away, and that, that makes my job a little more, more easy. And uh, Yeah, it's really just honestly, you have to give a lot of credit to the D-Corps in front of me, and uh, I don't get that without them in front of me. So hopefully we can kind of keep this momentum going. Uh, Dalton, I asked Coach after your past assist to Selby on Tuesday, you know, what's been it, what's led to you being such a dynamic presence on offense, and you pointed to you moving your feet. Um, how was that something that was, you know, the focal point going into tonight? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, as a, as a freshman, um, you want to do whatever you can to stay in the lineup. You're, you're battling, you're trying to win all your battles and um, getting advice from some of the older guys as well as all the coaches. Just as a big guy, keeping my feet moving, something that uh, is I've always had to work on. Um, but yeah, it just seems like the bounces are there right now and it's helping the confidence a lot as well. So, um, like I said, it's, it's great to play with uh, 
the caliber we have in our team just because it puts me in those positions where the puck can go in the net. So. Uh, Coach, after you know hanging in there against on the road against Quinnipiac and losing, you know, does a win like today against a top team give you confidence that you can beat the best teams, especially with you know, a really good Harvard team coming into line next weekend? Uh, I think we had confidence before this. I mean, we didn't play. Quinnipiac played well in the first period, and, and we didn't play well. You know, and I, I think that uh, um, in that second, third period, our guys got got their act together in the, in the second, third period at Quinnipiac, and you know. Um, you know, same thing. We got behind again. Clarkson. You know, it, we got a lot of good teams in our league, and, and yeah, you know, I think this is a good. You know, you look around the league tonight. For for us, it was important for our league. Uh, coming off of COVID with the Ivy League and everything else, um, that we we come up with this kind of win, right? right? I mean, we're you know, there's still a lot of things that affect. But what one thing we can control is how hard we play. So, I mean, I think Quinnipiac's a good hockey. I think Clarkson's a good hockey team. I think Brown's a good hockey team. I mean, they they showed that tonight beating Providence. So. Uh, there's a lot of good teams in our league, and we just kind of stay focused. We, as you mentioned, we got Harvard coming in on, on Friday and Dartmouth on Saturday, and uh, we just got to get back to work on Monday when we get back to campus and, and uh, get ready to play again. Coach, you've been part of this program for over 30 years now, and you know you've coached you've coached this team uh, on this stage in this building for um, quite a couple times now. Um, does that feeling that that you get coming into this building every time you coach uh, this team? For these games, um, ever do they feel the same? What what is it like, and do they like you know? Of course, do they feel the same? Do they ever wear out? You know, describe that kind of. Thing. Well, what, what does a coach go through? He's uh, worried about how the game's going to go. <laughs> are we going to play well? Are we going to show up? Are we going to are we going to play hard? Are we going to follow the game plan? You know, all those things as a coach, you have them in every game. I think it's just what different here is is like is when you walk out to the rink and you see all the alumni in the crowd. That's that's the difference, and mm -hmm. so. I mean, everybody says, what did you do today in New York City? I mean, you know, I was in my hotel room where the assistant coach was going over video. So it wasn't a real exciting time here in the Big Apple for, you know, our players and our coaching staff. And uh, it, it, it's, it's fun here. We, we, we love being down here. We're glad that Madison Square Garden's partners with us in this game. And, you know, we, we obviously, uh, you know, be you next year and we'll see who the following year is. But, yeah, we love coming down here. I'm pretty good. Um, We've talked about you know how you stay locked in on the ice and how that's important to you. How is it you know an extra point of you know focus tonight, especially on a really big stage like this, to sort of stay in the club? Uh, it's definitely different, but I think we all were kind of in the same mindset as a team that you know we had a job to do this weekend and um, these points and winning against this team is huge for us in the long run. So I think everyone, including myself, was just kind of dialed in on the details and making sure that we were mentally focused and ready for this game and. I uh, didn't really treat it any different than another game and just wanted to make sure to get the job done and uh, do my part tonight. Uh, Coach. One more. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get these guys to bed. <laughs> um, tonight your uh, your team was uh, one for three on the power play. Um, you had three sh three power play shots, um, those three of which came on that um, second power play uh, in which uh, the team had scored. What uh, what are the things that um that you still feel that you need to fix up on the power play a little bit, if any? Well, the power play has going well recently. I mean, I, I think we've been, we've been tinkering with personnel, and you know, we looked at UConn. We knew that uh, that was a great look from Sam down to Dalton by the net, and we had a couple other really good looks uh, on the power play too. I think Gabe Seeger found Max Andreev out on, on the weak side. Their kid made a big save, and uh, power play goes in ebb and flow. I mean, it, it just does, and I think that uh, you can constantly work at it and. Um, you know, I thought Sean Flagg has been in, in part. Of it. He's in charge of our power play. He, you know, he, he prepares our guys well. Prepares you know against the opponent well, and we made some slight adjustments. And you know, they're a tough team to, to score in the power play. I mean, I, I don't know what their percentage is. I think it's over ninety percent or something like that. So to get one is, is great. But um, you know, we we keep doesn't matter. Like whatever our percentage is now means nothing when we play against Harvard on Friday. Maybe we start all start all over again. So, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.